new this morning, a WRTV investigation into a local car dealer is revealing a growing number of victims. KBB Auto Sales accused of deceiving customers by selling vehicles with the odometers rolled back thousands of miles. Our Kelsey Anderson is live this morning with this developing story. Kelsey, this began with one victim. How many more now? Raphael, as you know, I've been working on this for the last month, talking to victims every single day since my story aired on March 16th. And Detective Farias with the Indiana State Police confirms 46 victims of KBB auto sales on Troy Avenue. Eight of them have filed lawsuits through the Perry Township Small Claims Court. While they wait for the investigation or their day in court, all of them are stuck with a bill and a car that's not what they paid for. I just felt victimized. Tim Hardwick is still waiting for his $9,500 refund after purchasing a vehicle from KBB Auto Sales in Indianapolis. We talked to him on March 16th, and more than a month later, he's still waiting. Hardwick was the first victim. After he made state police aware of the problem, they found dozens of others. Before leaving the lot, uh, I had an issue with the window. As y'all see, it, it rolls down perfectly when the door is open, rolls up. The moment I shut the door, Nothing. And you remember Dyquisha Lacey. She's the one who bought a car for $7,000. And within a week of purchasing the car, it broke down on the interstate. She called Detective Farias and found, besides the car being a, quote, lemon, her odometer had also been rolled back nearly 70,000 miles. We talked to her on March 21st, and she's still waiting. I was really upset because I kind of felt, like, duped. Um because when I had first went in, everything seemed normal. On the same day, we talked to Alicia Atkins. She found out her odometer had been rolled back through Detective Farias. When she filed a lawsuit in small claims court against the dealership, they repossessed her car. It's since been sold to another consumer, and she's still waiting. All three of these victims we spoke to have filed in the Perry Township Small Claims Court. Well, Raphael Hardwick is set to go to court this Thursday. Atkins is due to on court on May 25th, and Lacey was supposed to appear in court yesterday, but the lawyer representing the dealership had asked for a continuance, so now they were going on May 18th. So first thing, a great job on keeping us up to date on this developing story. This seems to me like so overwhelming. If I, was, if I were in this situation, what would I do, Kelsey? So if I'm a victim, what do I do? Well, the Attorney General's office, they want to see people file that complaint through them. Okay. And I've got that linked for them right now okay. on WRTV, also on social media. And then they also say that some of them are being represented by Indiana Legal Services, and that's where you can get free help. And so you can apply for that help right now. Again, those links on this story and on my Twitter and Facebook pages. Kelsey Anderson, thank you so much. The latest on our website, WRTV.com.